Hey, it's Dan. So in this video, I want to talk to you about building resilience. Hey, it's Dan. Hope you're well today. So it's just on my way to CrossFit. And uh, I just wrote a post about uh, resilience, put it out on Facebook and so on. But I also wanted just to get some extra thoughts onto video uh, to share with you. Because well, one of the biggest things that I've learned, and this really all comes from CrossFit, is, is that this idea of, of resilience you know you see a large amount of work in front of you that you have to get through to get the workout done and you're looking at it and you're like oh my goodness me how am I gonna get through this and then you just start and you start slowly and then you build up and then you get through it one step after the other one lift after the other this is very similar to being in business because you've got all this work that you have to get through Right? and you know that you've got work to do and so what do we do in business we check Facebook we check LinkedIn we faff around we check emails we do everything around the, uh, everything except the thing that we're supposed to be doing in the first place which we move a business forward because it feels painful and that's like me going to CrossFit knowing I've got a hundred a hundred deadlifts to do and skipping and not doing the actual work because I feel that it might be hard or, or whatever. And, and it's exactly the same in business. And so, you know, when we get to CrossFit, we've got a plan of everything that we're gonna do. And you should have a similar plan in your business. And you get through the work. And you should be getting used to having a plan, knowing what volume of work you've got to get through for today, and then getting through that volume of work. And it's about also being smart in the way that you give yourself the work. So there's no point in giving yourself two litres of water when you've only got one litre uh, container. And that's what most people are doing at work. They've got two litres of worth of work and they're trying to fit it into one day. Or let me rephrase it, two days worth of work. They're trying to fit it into one day. And then they get upset every day that they've not got as far on as they want. You know, because stuff happens, stuff crops up. I'm not necessarily a great believer that you should full, fill your day. I think you should have spare gaps in your day because when stuff crops up, which invariably it does, a phone call goes on longer, an emergency of some kind, stuff happens during a day with no this. And so it's about you being smarter with your time so that you're also handling your mental well-being and not getting upset every day because you've not got everything completed. So have a list get through it uh, but also one of the big things is that this resilience will trans translate into other areas of your life so for me in CrossFit getting through all of this work is incredibly important and vital and getting used to getting through that work and building that resilience of oh, I'm exhausted I don't think I can do another thing and then you go do the other thing it's absolutely vital for you to build your business and your life and your relationships and your health and everything else that's going to come in um, and do this here. Anyway, uh, we'll cross it as it happens. So I uh, hope that's useful. We'll catch up with you on the next video. Take care. I might be going crazy. I don't know what to do. My heart is screaming for you, babe.